Hi guys, welcome to my Call for Beginners part 4. Hi guys, welcome to my Call for Beginners part 4. So we've done the 1, 2, 3 and now this is the 4th one. My name is Bjorn Lydic, Neuromuscular Therapist and Pilates Instructor and I'll take you through your, your, your part 4. If you want any more triathlon related stuff, click on the subscribe button, um, click on the notification and you'll get a notification whenever there's a new video that comes up. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into the part four. We have four exercises to go through. So we've done a few different ones in the one, two, and three. Now today in part four, we're gonna do a few different exercises, okay? Now it's just a, a addition to what we have done before. Um, it's a few similar exercises, a few not as similar exercises, okay? But it's all just progression, slowly but surely, getting more intense, doing different exercises, getting giving the body just a different stimulus to actually contract the core and to strengthen up the core. Okay, straight into it. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a kneeling arm raise. Okay, so we're gonna go on all fours, so hands and knees in a box position. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just extend one arm at a time, okay? So we're in all fours position like that. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on each one. Now, before we start, every time before we start, we just need to make sure that the core is contracted. Okay, so now, as you get used to, as you get used to doing the exercise, you need to kind of know that, okay, so when I'm contro controlling my core and when I'm contracting my core as well. Okay, so if you're not sure, remember you can put your hands on your hips like this. If you press, if you contract the core up to a two or three out of 10, remember your pull muscles that we were talking about already, that's the muscles that you need to contract. So, four fours, make sure there's a tray of drinks on the back. Uh, making sure it's not falling like this. Keep it nice and straight. Take a nice deep breath in for preparation. And slowly extend the arm. Slowly bring it up. And slowly take a deep breath in. Extend. And back. Okay, so if you're going into the into the movement like that, make sure that your elbows are nice and soft. Um, the tray of drinks doesn't fall off. The shoulders and the hips has to be steady. It has to be nice and controlled. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. So knees, shoulder with the, uh, hips apart. Breath in for, uh, for preparation. Keep your head in a neutral position. Nice and slow and controlled. As you get better with the exercise, try and reach as far forward as you can. Five. Six. So it's about quality instead of quantity, okay? Sometimes we forget that when we do the exercise, we concentrate more on the arms than actually what we are doing with the core. So remember, just keep the core contracted first and then everything else follows after that. Okay, now, small modification, instead of using the arms, we're gonna use the legs. Now, when we start using the legs, slowly but surely the hip starts rocking from side to side or it starts going like this. So try not for that to happen, okay? Deep breath in for preparation. Slowly push out. And bridge up. Keep the tummy in, keep it contracted. Three, four, Thank you. 
exercise, as you can see, I was just pushing my, my toes all the way to the wall. As you get more comfortable, you can actually start lifting the leg to have a nice straight line, okay? You, you can do that if you want. You don't need to if you don't want to, if you don't feel ready for it. Deep breath in for preparation. I'm gonna try and uh, lift up my leg now. Here we go, hold it there for a second, and slowly back. Straight. Okay, so now we're going to do a combination of the two. So as the right arm goes up, the left leg kicks back. And then we change it over, okay? Exactly the same principles. Just keep breathing slowly out, slowly in, nice and controlled. Keep the tummy contracted a little bit, okay? Here we go. So take a nice deep breath in preparation. I'm going to start with my right hand and left leg. Second, and slowly down. And extend. And three. Four, remember the tray of drinks. As you get more comfortable, you can try and extend the arms as far as you can. Try and reach both sides of the wall. exercise the fourth exercise is going to be a little bit of fun now when, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a little bit of flexibility in the lower back some people will be able to do it and some people won't okay now I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for first and then what you can do is how to progress to that specific stage okay you're gonna sit on your bum you're gonna hold your legs like this and you're gonna roll back and you're gonna roll back up again so when you come back up again you can uh, put your feet on the mat, okay? Some people roll back and you just boom, and you wouldn't be able to come back again, right? And then I'll show you a progression from that. So you're balancing on your toes, roll back, and up you go, and stop. And do that 10 times. Two. Three. 
if you are struggling Instead of touching the floor on the mats, I want you to try and balance. Okay, if you can do that, brilliant. If you can't, just go back to the one that I showed you already, okay? Now, every time before you do every repetition, make sure that the muscles are contracted. The muscles are contracted, okay? Every now and then, put your hands on your hips. Are they contracting? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I'm ready to go, and then I do my exercise. Okay, now let the fun begin. So your toes cannot touch for the whole duration of the 10 repetitions if you are doing this exercise. Okay, toes up, and off we go. Balance. Balance. Three. Okay, so that's uh, that's us done for today. Um, remember, there's going to be some more videos coming up. If you want some more triathlon-related stuff, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell notification, um, and you'll get notification whenever there's a new video coming up. If you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see, send me comments <coughs> on the, the video that we've done, just done now, um, or you can send me a direct message if you don't want people to see that. But uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.